Good morning. Things are looking, well, a little bit gray and gloomy for those of us in the southern end of the valley where we've had to put up with rain and thunderstorms here this morning. Fargo's on the very northern end of this, and you can even see the cloud that kind of ends uh, here, the lower clouds, I should say, uh, right at that I-94 corridor as we're looking off to the west. And so uh, the rain and thunderstorms really south of our Highway 10 line. And here's a look at that. It's well out of our viewing area to the south, but we still have some lightning. We still have some gusty winds and some downpours out there, too. And that's definitely affecting places north of Fergus Falls along I-94. There you can see the reds moving uh, toward the, uh, the well, it looks like it's a little south of Pelican Rapids in between, basically, along Highway 59. And then Wapiton Breckenridge still getting that steady rain going on as well. Out to the west, we've got that clearing line. So it looks like Lamore, Dickey County starting to quiet down and gradually this will shift eastward too. Until then, it's going to be a rainy morning commute for you in Lakes Country here this morning until that moves on. Fargo's been right on the edge of it. There's also some lightning and thunder. Very few lightning bolts at the moment across that larger area of yellow and orange and red indicating the heavier rainfall rates. That leading line is where we've seen some of the more uh, clusters of lightning and that's basically moving on. Again, Fargo, Pretty quiet, but if you head south on I-29, get toward that Oxbow exit, and you're talking about some rain starting to uh, fall and those windshield wipers needed, heading down toward uh, the uh, Highway 46 corridor as well. Expanding the view, this is the one game in town, essentially, in the tri-state area. It'll move east, we'll clear things out, and we'll get some quieter weather for the rest of the daytime hours, at least today. Temperatures in the 60s right now at 66 in Fargo and 62 in Grand Fork. So we'll watch this move on through the rest of the morning hours. Still some instability and some cloud cover hanging around even into the afternoon for those of us in lakes country. So temperatures there will be slightly cooler. As we head further into the afternoon, that tries to clear. Fargo may be included in that cloud cover too. So it might be tough to get more sunshine in the FM area. You're more likely to see it up north and out to the west. With some strong winds coming in out of the southeast, pumping in some moisture, some humidity for today, you're going to notice that. If not already, later today you'll notice that with temperatures in the 70s to some 80s. And to tonight, once that sun goes down, we start to cool things down a little bit. That may allow some storms to pop into the late night hours, some isolated areas of rain and thunder. Can't rule out a couple of them being on the stronger side. Heading into the overnight hours tonight and continuing into tomorrow morning. You can see just like today, the, a large area not experiencing anything, but you could be one of those spots that sees a storm. And we do have a marginal risk for everybody here for later today and tonight uh, through the overnight hours. The greater threat will be in the western part of North Dakota, but that does shift eastward as we head into Thursday and Friday. And we have first alert weather days for the end of the week because of that threat for severe weather, especially on Thursday, but continuing into Friday. And one other thing to mention, we could see some significant rainfall by the time this is all said and done with a couple of inches or more possible uh, once this thing winds down. And it could linger into Saturday, but I think overall, a quieter weekend ahead, especially on Sunday.